checkbox, a Doom Megawad by various Doom mappers from the Czech Republic. Let's do map two. Map two is ruins, 53 and 12. Well, already a lot more spacious than the previous map. Oh, that's cool. Whoa! Okay. Teleporter? Ashwall sort of dominated the outdoor area in the previous map, which can be okay, but I think this again highlights the need for a little bit more lighting variety. This is all the same light level, and um, you know, it kind of just makes it look like wallpaper. You could really add some depth out here by just messing with some of the light levels. Like, look at that. I mean, just just this one angle is, you know, visually more appealing than looking at this sea of brown with the same light level. Just by adjusting the light, you can achieve some good visual stuff. And, uh, it's interesting, it's kind of one of those things where you notice the absence of it more than you notice the presence of it. Because when a map has great lighting, I don't really notice it. But when a map doesn't have so great lighting, that's when I notice it more. I guess we go this way then. Oh, switch there. This is kind of wasteful of my shells, but whatever. Yeah, like out there, that's where the light comes in, so in here we get some decent lighting, some shading. This area is dark. You see it on the ceiling there, and this is the bright cone. Not sure what these... Right here, some, yeah, some decent shading in here, for sure. Okay, so the switches are gonna raise the bars up for me, one at a time. Okay. This is impassable, this whole thing. Okay. I guess that makes sense. I, I don't I don't hate that necessarily. Might be kinda nice to jump down there and explore a little bit, but no such luck. Blue key. Yeah, here again you really notice the lack of lighting. I mean because the same texture is used over and over, this brown ash fall everywhere, I mean, that would be one way to, to make it look a little bit better, would be just use some different textures. But even with just the one texture, I think some light changes would go a really long way. Because this is a cool little backdrop thing. You know, it, it basically serves as an extension of the sky texture, basically, because you don't go over there, there's nothing over there, but it's there for visual purposes. And it's cool, you know, the waterfalls coming down, but without any light variety, it just kind of looks flat. So messing with the light and or adding in just a couple of supplementary textures, I think that would go a long way. Here's another minor thing here. These switches are already in the SW2 position, so it can get confused. Look, okay, so that opens the bars. This will open that. It gets a little bit confusing, potentially. Not in this map, because this map is pretty basic and straightforward, but um, the way this looks, it looks like I've already hit this one, and I have not hit this one, but it's the opposite. I've hit the blue one, and I haven't hit that one. Alright, let's go this way. I, 
I do I do appreciate the different height levels of the little brown mountains over there or whatever. You can see the the uh, vertical tiling of the sky texture, which not a huge deal, but could probably fix that up easily enough by raising up the section over there a little bit. So yeah, here we get some here we get some lighting, and it looks great, you know, even with just the brown texture. It looks really nice. I guess it's somewhat atmospheric to how empty this map is. It's a pretty big map and only 50 monsters and... But ruins? I guess abandoned ruins? Oh, okay. So you come out this way and... Wait, now there's a switch here. That wasn't there before, was it? Oh, I ran out of shells. Yeah, this was also in the SW2, and now it's in the SW1. Alright, so you do get in here eventually. I find some shells, though. Anybody else? I only got one out of three secrets last time. Not doing very well this time either. Okay, yeah, this is where I was before. Super shotgun right there. Alright, kind of an interesting progression. You actually start right outside of this thing. End up coming back through here. A lot of brown in here, but uh, actually pretty nice detailing in here. Even though it's slightly monotonous, you got the light coming in here, and um, the pillars blocking it as they should. Kind of cool. A little skylight, some some trim back in here. Um, definitely some some scale differences too. You know, big grand hallway thing here, and with uh, some of the stuff over there was a little bit less than that. Actually, this whole map is, in general, more open, bigger spaces than the previous map. Alright, so this switch is going to lower that red key, and then I can go back to the switch. Hello. 48 out of 50. Is that it? Just two demons? I guess so. Anybody else? Hey. Yeah, I guess I didn't find any secrets. Oh! There's a secret. But I'm done, right? Maybe this is supposed to be played continuous. Cause I think this has gotta be the exit, right? Okay. Alright, that one by Matthias or Matthias. Um Yeah, I mean I think uh, this is definitely kind of a casual so far anyway, it's a casual classic Doom experience. And so if you're looking for major innovation and uh, combat centric you may need to find something else or maybe we just need to get to some of the later maps but um, yeah this is pretty it's let's just put it this way it doesn't feel like it's come out in the 2010s it feels like it's something from the late 90s I think more like um, but you know it has its charm it's it's enjoyable enough for me I mean it is kind of slow paced the combat's still pretty easy mostly just shooting stuff in front of you um, but it's easy to follow it's nice to just play a little bit more doom that you haven't played before you know it's comparable to the iwads it's it's not hard it's it's simple um, it's doom 
So that's kind of what you get so far. Um, that map too. 